Considered by many scholars to be the greatest Roman emperor, Trajan reigned from 98 to 117 AD. The Roman Senate awarded him with the honorary title Optimus Princeps, meaning the best ruler. Trajan is recognized for being generous to his subjects and a benevolent governor, responsible for creating public projects that benefited the Roman population and the rest of the empire. During Trajan's reign, the Roman Empire expanded its borders to their maximum extent. Born on September 18, 53 AD, in the Roman province of Hispania Baetica, now the Spanish region of Andalusia, and a member of a wealthy family, Trajan was baptized with the name Marcus Ulpius Traianus. During his youth, Trajan served in Syria as a military tribune. He enjoyed a prosperous career, reaching the rank of Praetor in 85. Shortly thereafter, he headed the 7th Gemina Legion in northern Spain. A few years later, Trajan rose to prominence again during the reign of Emperor Domitian as general of the Roman army on the Germanic border. With Domitian's assassination in 96 AD, the office of emperor passed to Marcus Cocius Nerva, an old childless senator who was unpopular in the Roman army. After narrowly escaping a conspiracy against his life by the Praetorian Guard, Nerva realized that he had to get the support of the army to avoid being ousted from his new position. To achieve this goal, Nerva needed allies with influence in the army. There was no one better than the respected Trajan. In the summer of 97, Trajan was named Nerva's adopted son and successor. Trajan was governor of Germania Superior, where he learned of the adoption. But he was cautious about his new social position. Instead of quickly returning to Rome, Trajan decided to summon the Praetorian leaders responsible for the mutiny against Domitian and probably against Nerva, promising them a promotion in the army. But instead of receiving the promised promotion, they were executed as soon as they arrived in Trajan's domains. These ruthless actions clearly showed that Trajan would not tolerate traitors in his future reign. Nerva died of natural causes on January the 28th, 98. Trajan was quickly appointed emperor by the Roman Senate. His appointment made Trajan the first Roman emperor born outside Italy. Trajan did not immediately return to Rome. Instead, he surveyed the borders of the Rhine and Danube, twice defeating a revolt by the people of Dacia, where present-day Romania is now. He used the spoils from these victories to finance public works projects in Rome. Among these projects was a spacious new forum with two libraries and a huge stone column called Trajan's Column. The column was covered with sculptures depicting the victory over the Dacians and still stands today. Located in Trajan's Forum, near the Quirinal Hall, north of the Roman Forum, the column is approximately 30 meters high, plus 8 meters a pedestal, for a total height of 38 meters. Trajan's Column is one of the largest and most important monuments that survived the fall of Rome. Finally, in the summer of the year 99 AD, Trajan entered Rome on foot. He embraced each of the senators and even walked among common people. This display of humility was a sign that Trajan was unlike any other emperor. The Roman historian Cassius Dio wrote, Trajan was remarkable for his justice, bravery, and simple habits. He was an emperor who was concerned with good government and public welfare, establishing an excellent social policy. Trajan invested heavily in promoting popular entertainment. One of the most notable events was a gladiatorial festival that lasted three months at the Great Roman Colosseum. Between chariot races, animal fights, and gladiatorial combats, the bloody spectacle allegedly caused 11,000 deaths and attracted a total of 5 million spectators from the festival. The state-funded public entertainments helped to maintain contentment among the populace and further boost Trajan's morale. Despite all his virtues, Trajan was not a perfect man. He overdrank wine and liked to have relations with young boys. Although this was common practice among the nobility of ancient Rome, it was not a well-regarded custom when pursued by the emperor. Trajan was also known for his bellicose side. He seemed to enjoy the battlefield and devising war strategies. In 1113, Trajan embarked on his last military campaign, whose goal was to regain control of the empire's eastern frontier. This new wave of conflict began when the Kingdom of Parthia decided to put a king of its people on the throne of Armenia, which was a Roman buffer state. Trajan first marched on Armenia and annexed it to the Roman Empire. 
Then, he and his legions marched south, conquering the cities of Babylon, Seleucia, and finally the capital of Parthia, called Ctesiphon. He continued to the Persian Gulf, where he declared Mesopotamia a new province of the Roman Empire. In Trajan's reign, the Roman Empire stretched from Scotland to the Caspian Sea, ruling millions of subjects throughout the territory. In early 117 AD, Trajan fell ill and left for Italy. His health worsened during the spring and summer of that year, increasing the probability that he was poisoned, although there is no evidence. Trajan arrived in the southern Anatolian city of Salinas, where he died suddenly, probably on August the 11th, 117, apparently a victim of a stroke. His body was taken to Seleucia, where it was cremated. His ashes were transported to Rome and placed in a gold urn at the base of Trajan's column. He was elevated to the rank of deity in the Roman pantheon by the Senate. His cousin, Hadrian, whom Trajan is said to have adopted as his son while on his deathbed, was chosen as emperor. Hadrian, upon becoming ruler, returned Mesopotamia to Parthian rule, as he considered this a province too expensive and far away to be defended by the Romans. However, all the other territories conquered by Trajan were kept. In the rest of the history of the Roman Empire, even in the Byzantine Empire, all new emperors after Trajan were honored by the Senate with the following prayer, May you be luckier than Augustus and better than Trajan. Unlike many rulers in history, Trajan's reputation survived unchanged for nearly 19 centuries. Later, theologians, such as Thomas Aquinas, consider Trajan an example of a virtuous pagan. Trajan will always be remembered as a strict but fair ruler who found an effective balance between territorial conquest and maintaining a high quality of life for his people.